thanks to all of you to be here. Uh, we have a very interesting session. So I'll actually start first with you, Harkunwar, uh, because it's a very interesting area that you operate in, right? And we've seen a lot of education, we've seen a lot of learning go digital. Uh, in your journey at Novita, Novita is how you pronounce it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Novita. Right, uh, in your journey, especially catering to the very, very niche segments that you do, uh, what have been your startup, let's say, uh, obstacles that you faced and how did you overcome them? All right. Um, so, probably like um, I'll, I'll have a quick, uh, you know, sort of a background. So, I'm actually an architect by my formal education and training. And uh, we believe that, you know, as India as an economy is growing and, you know, uh, going in that direction, if you see the direction of other bigger economies, the infrastructure, the real estate, everything that has been built in that direction at that scale actually happened with a lot of technology being penetrated into that particular space. If you look at cities like Shenzhen and all built in China in next to no time and when we talk about India, it has Gurgaon, Bangalore which emerged in the last 10-12 years broad level. We understood that something has to be done to accelerate that development and upskilling with these new technologies like, you know, there is, there is something called building information modeling, BIM, which is widely getting adopted in this space, has to be picked up. And being from that background, we realized that it has to be adopted in the learning. So as we started building, obviously one of the key challenges were we were actually trained architects and we wanted to figure out how upskilling can be adopted at scale, what is the right way of doing it, how learning happens. And over there, the entire aspect of, you know, the software that is built for learning, for the people who build in the real world, it has to come together. And, and that's where we started figuring out, you know, we follow a rule which is called a 10-20-70 rule. A 10% learning happens when, you know, people are told this is what it is. 20% learning happens when you know, you are with your friends in a social space seeing how they address those particular problems. And 70% learning happens when you're actually doing those projects hands-on yourself. And that's something we picked up and started figuring out how that get, gets replicated with technology. And we are able to make it as a part of learning in a very interesting and engaging manner. Uh, I'll now move to you, Arunab. So using the digital interface or using the digital medium, who are you really replacing? Washing machines? Or housemates? All the digital marketing that you see, the first level of uh, outreach is for potential franchise partners, the micro entrepreneurs in different parts of India who we believe would be interested in setting up and starting their own Euclean operation in their neighborhood. So, say somebody is sitting in Guwahati and in some neighborhood of Guwahati who is looking for business options, who is looking for business opportunities, who wants to start up on their own. So they would be my first target because they are the ones who are going to start a Euclean in their neighborhood. Once they are there, once they have started their operations, then our bigger target audience would be people who are currently at home. Maybe they are getting their clothes cleaned via their washing machines. They might also have a maid, but they're not happy with it. And they're not happy with it is because it's taking a significant toll on your time. So the idea is our biggest offering is convenience more than quality more than the fact that we can give it back to you in 24 hours more than the fact that you can place an order sitting from the comfort of your home and have a delivery boy reach your place but i think the bigger offering that we have is convenience all you need to do is pick up a pick up time pick up a drop time and we will have somebody at your home so it doesn't matter whether you have a washing machine at your place it doesn't matter whether you have a maid at your place what we are offering is convenience we are offering you a significant time saving at the same cost at which you are potentially getting it done today at home. I'll come to you, Ankit. How did you convince your partners, okay, for example, like say a Redcliffe or a Flipkart that you worked with, how did you convince them to actually come on board this absolutely new thing which I only read about but I really don't know much about at ground level? Uh, while we started working with healthcare, agri-commodity, 
we slowly and gradually moved into e-com, quick commerce, food, and multiple other things that we are enabling in cities like Gurgaon. Now, when we began this whole journey, the whole idea was that, you know, and, and we, we all can agree to that, that humans are made to do more skilled work, you know, not carrying things on the back of their body or, or on, a, on their shoulders or on their heads. And, and more meaningful things can actually come out of it. And what can really enable and what can really go and transform this entire thing is a technology which is a mix of a motor, which is a mix of AI, which is a mix of ML, which is a mix of whole new technology and the digitalization that we all talk about. So today, working and doing more than 2.5 million package that we have delivered for different clients, we have enabled 20 to 40% cost savings compared to conventional means. I'll come to you now, Nikhil. Uh, given your role, your very interesting role as someone who looks after the digital interface and the digital world for Max Healthcare. Now, Max obviously has a finite network, right? Uh, how do you use digital to reach out to more people beyond your network in possibly A, reaching out to them conveniences and B, making them come to your centers? See, effectively, uh, there are three elements which are there in the entire healthcare ecosystem. One is a doctor, the most important one is a patient and third is a nurses. Now, what we have been trying to do is like, you know, connect them all together to the digital mediums. Now, in terms of patients who are, let's say, the realms, beyond the realms of tier 1, tier 2, uh, telemedicine is the best way wherein we have used the technology to bring, in, bring them to our network or like, you know, accessibility to the doctor. So, so the mantra behind that is basically the accessibility of the doctors who are sitting in metros or like, you know, on the, in the premium cities and making them uh, like, you know, have an accessibility to the patients which are in tier 2 and tier 3. Now, that is being done by creating a lot of digital apps. Like, you know, so we have created a doctor app, we have created a, more, a like, you know, a patient app. Now, a patient who is in any part of the country is having a smartphone, can, can, can actually use that technology to do a virtual consultation. It's not only virtual consultation, it is a telephonic consultation which can also happen with your medical records, which is a prescriptions, like, you know, which includes the details of your medication, details of your diagnostic test. So that all is, is provided in your mobile phone. There has been methods wherein, we, like you know, uh, the notes, the notes which the doctor advises, those can be like you know passed on to the patients through the digital mediums by even by SMSs as well as WhatsApp. So, so we are typically using technology to make it easy for the patients to get an access to us. Yeah, you know, listening to you and and Ankit, it's almost like Arthur C. Clarke coming alive. <laughs> okay, you talked about you talked about at the end of the day the importance of being digital, the human touch, which is where I come to you, Manish. Okay, um, Infogain is a global organization. Okay, uh, when, I, when I go through your website and read a, read a bit about you, you've done some fabulous work across the world, right? And brought benefit to lots of large brands in various sectors. You talk about a very interesting platform or a solution in Infogain called Revel, which talks about human-centric solutions. Could you just share a little bit more about that? Being digital has a very unique aspect and that is, and what we are missing is being human. So if I give an example, I believe all of us use WhatsApp, you know, WhatsApp. So what's, what's so unique about WhatsApp? Think about it, it's simplicity. And what makes a human being is being simple. So it comes from a great philosopher from West Bengal, I'm missing his name. It is so simple to be happy, but it is very difficult to be simple. So the key of transformation is simplicity and that is where the concept of human touch and design thinking comes into picture. So that's what is Infogain's you know, unique offering in its digital transformation services. We car for, we focus on bringing in that human touch, which can render a very simple but very effective technology transformation. Interesting, very interesting. Gentlemen, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. <laughs>